Buckingham Palace's announcement that it would not release the results of an investigation into bullying allegations against Meghan Markle was dubbed a serious royal bullshit by a leading race and diversity commentator in a new episode of Newsweek's Royal Podcast. DR speaking to Chief Royal Correspondent Jack Royston and Royal Commentator Kristen Meinzer, Shola Mose Shogunamu, expressed her belief that the palace's desire to keep the results of the review from the public is evidence that they had not been found have what they were looking for. The discussion comes after it was revealed during the annual release of the Sovereign Grants report that the palace decided last week not to release details of the bullying review. I know many of you will want to know if our report contains any information into the review of the historic allegations of bullying that we announced in March 2021, Sir Michael Stevens said. There is nothing on this in the report. As we said last year, this work was undertaken privately and had no sovereign grant public money spent on it, he continued. I can confirm though that it was a review of the handling of the allegations, aimed at enabling the royal households to consider potential improvements to HR policies and procedures. The review has been completed and recommendations on our policies and procedures have been taken forward, but we will not be commenting further. He added, Royston's proposal to Mose Shogmimid that palace officials say that they have a duty of confidentiality to the staff who took part in the review, which is so far reaching that they can't even release the changes that they've made to their HR policy. That's some serious royal chaos if ever I heard it, Mose Shogmimu responded. Some next level BS. She said. The reason why the results of the investigation of the review is being buried is because it most likely incriminates the royal family, and it proves that Meghan Markle did not bully anyone. If you remember when all these bullying claims came out, which was a couple of weeks or so before the interview between Harry, Meghan and Oprah Winfrey, she continued, they made so much noise about it. It was the only thing the British media could talk. You come and now say a year or so down the line and say we've completed our review and we cannot share the results because of confidentiality, please tell me where was the concern for confidentiality when they told the entire world that Meghan bullied certain members of staff. They didn't care about the staff's confidentiality then. Mose Shogamimu then suggested that the palace may have released its findings in a way that did not identify the staff and questioned the reasons for not doing so. There's no legal reason not to share the findings, she said. They don't need to share the names of the potential victims, they just need to give us a definite answer, did she bully? Yes or no? I suspect being the fair-minded reasonable person that I am, that the reason they are not sharing anything is because it incriminates them, she concluded that it doesn't poison the well enough against Meghan Markle, and that is why they don't want to share it with us.